My first question is for you, Mike, with, uh, in your testimony, you mentioned Project Jumpstart, a uh, very successful job training program, which really does sound like music to my ears and those of the colleague, my colleagues, I'm sure. Now, you mentioned its success in urban areas. Do you or have you seen this model work in, uh, in rural areas? Uh, no, I haven't. In fact, I haven't seen it firsthand work anywhere but Baltimore, which is why I'm behind it. I grew up there, but I also think that as a, as a format or a template, it's low-hanging fruit. It's something that could easily be identified. It's not really on point to the, to the bill I know we're contemplating, but it does check a few of the boxes. You know, um, I would suggest an even better organization to make people more aware of is Skills USA. Um, you mentioned the Boy Scouts, you mentioned Future Farmers of America. You know, I work pretty closely with, with both of those groups, but nobody hits it as squarely on the head as Skills USA. 300,000 kids basically competing every year in national competitions uh, within the CTE world. And it's phenomenal to watch their, their passion, and it's amazing to watch them grow. And it's criminal that more people don't know about them. I mean, literally, you fill a room with 1,000 people and 950 have never, ever heard of them. But they're the best example I have of a, uh, of a private organization that really stepped up to kind of fill in that smoldering crater we created when we took the vocational arts out of high school. There are many, many others, but in terms of PR, we gotta hear more about Jumpstart. We gotta hear more about Skills USA.